So the U.S. is now involved in another conflict now with Iran this time as they're now seizing oil tankers, just taking them at will. You can see this here. Iran seizes massive oil tankers, the second one in a week in the Gulf. This is according to the U.S. Navy. You can see the picture here, how large this is. And these are these small little boats here. And this is a massive, massive oil tanker. And this is where it gets really concerning here. About a fifth of the world's crude oil and oil products passes through the Strait of Hormuz, a choke point between Iran and Oman, according to data from analytics firm Vortexa. So this is very concerning because <laughs> that's a lot of the world's, world's oil, right? Iran seized a second oil tanker in a week in Gulf waters, and the U.S. State Department called for its release in the latest escalation in a series of seizures or attacks on commercial vessels in Gulf waters since 2019. The Bahrain-based Fifth Fleet of the U.S. Navy said the Panama-flagged oil tanker Novi was seized by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy at 6.20 a.m. while passing through the Strait of Hormuz. In Iran's first response, Tehran's prosecutor announced that the oil tanker was seized on a judicial order following a complaint by a plaintiff. So they just, you know, some plaintiff just filed some order and they just took this massive, massive oil tanker and no further details were provided. <laughs> so anybody could just file a complaint and they could just take an entire oil, oil tanker, right? The incident comes after Iran on Thursday seized a Marshall Islands flagged oil tanker as well in the Gulf of Oman called the Advantage Suite. That tanker is being held by Iranian authorities in Bandar Abbas, the Marshall Islands flagged registry said here on Tuesday. Maritime security firm Ambre said it believed the Advantage Suite seizure was in response to a recent seizure via court order by the United States of an oil cargo aboard the Marshall Islands tanker Suez Rajan. This oil tanker on Wednesday had been traveling from Dubai towards the UAE's port when it was forced by these uh, smaller boats to change course towards Iranian territory waters, the Navy said. Yeah. The U.S. State Department and the Biden administration and the international community call on Iran and its Navy to release the ships and their crews. So the crews are held hostage, I guess. Iran's harassment of vessels and interference with navigational rights in regional and international waters are contrary to international law and disruptive to regional stability and security. Yeah, imagine if you were your family or anybody was uh, on that as a shipman, a crew, a porter, anything like that. You're working on that ship, and now you're in Iran as a hostage. Unbelievable, right? And Russia has started to respond to the attack on the Kremlin with the drone attack. A lot of different opinions on this whether it was Ukraine that sent the drone there to potentially assassinate Putin, or some people are saying that Russia did it, did this as a false flag event. But here is what uh, Russian state TV was saying. Take a listen to this. Zelensky, трусливая скотина, знал, сбежал, а теперь пишет, все, Зеленский, бзде отсюда. Ну вот теперь надо... Часики начали отчет обратный. Все теперь... гарантии, которые ты думал тебе даны, отозваны. Ну, Точка. Я, я надеюсь, что те гарантии, которые давались премьеру министра Израиля по поводу Зеленского, Все. аннулированы. Ну, вообще, я больше очень надеюсь, говорить. что что вот теперь, ну, ну я не знаю, как еще должно красные произойти. линии должны переходить и так далее. Это так было... Что... So Russian state TV responds to the attack on the Kremlin and says the countdown has started. 
against uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky, and that red lines have been crossed. And apparently Russia is now going to bring the fury. Also, you can see here Russia's former president, Dmitry Medvedev, calls for President Zelensky to be killed. He was the president in between Putin's terms and could be called back up to be president again if something were to happen to Putin. He could be maybe next in line. Um, and a lot of people think that he's even more vicious than Putin even. Here's what Medvedev is saying. Yeah, he's saying he's calling for uh, or, uh, Zelensky to be offed, accusing Ukraine of launching the drone attack to aim at assassinating uh, Vladimir Putin. Um, yeah, Dmitry Medvedev is the top security official and called for physical elimination of Zelensky in a Telegram post following the Ukrainian drone attack on the Kremlin, saying, quote, after today's terrorist attack, there are no options left but the physical elimination of Zelensky and his clique. The former president noted that Zelensky was not necessary for Ukraine's unconditional surrender. Uh, Medvedev also wrote that Hitler, as we know, didn't sign a surrender agreement either. Interesting. Uh, quote, there will always be some replacement, like a figurehead president, Admiral Donitz, referencing the German admiral who briefly was head of state after Hitler. In a statement, the Kremlin said it reserved the right to retaliate for the strike, which it considers a planned terrorist attack and an attempt on the president even though Putin was not there at the time. So apparently Putin was not even there. Russia's claim has not been verified, and Ukrainian President Zelensky said Kiev had nothing to do with the incident and would not use critical weaponry to attack Moscow. Uh, Zelensky said, we fight on our own territory. We're defending our buildings and cities. We don't have enough weapons for this. For us, it is a deficit. We can't spend it. We didn't attack Putin. We leave it to the United Nations Tribunal. So what do you think? You can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I will keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country on a daily basis. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. They come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. here on our YouTube channel. And thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. Russia says that the U.S. was behind the attack. You can see here in this video. Or, quote, we're on the brink of nuclear war. That's an exact quote. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.